One of the things I like the most about the Fuji X series cameras are the film simulation modes. And those of you that shot transparency film back in the day with old guys like me probably remember some of the brand names, right? Velvia is the high color saturation and big, bold, rich, black colored transparency film. Provia, for me at least, was my standard everyday zippy colors, but a nice, well-balanced color palette. And of course, Astia was the softer skin tone for guys like me that had kind of a reddish hue. I'd switch over to Astia. Well, I can do the same thing now, but instead of switching rolls of film, I'm just changing the film simulation mode. Take a look. Here's an opening shot of our, my lovely model in Velvia mode. And take a look at the Provia mode. And of course, here's the Astia mode. See the subtle differences? Well, let's not forget the reason that I picked up the Fuji X series camera in the first place, and that is a beautiful black and white, and I'm a JPEG shooter. A JPEG that has gorgeous tonality. And I can modify that using the quick menu on the XE2. I'm just going to go down here to the highlight and tone adjustment sections and I can adjust my highlight contrast plus or minus, my shadow contrast plus or minus, and of course I've always got that wonderful dynamic range adjustment. The Fuji X series all across the board has about the same quick menu from camera to camera to camera. So once you get used to using something like the XE2 and you decide you want to add an X Pro, you don't have to worry about relearning it, it's all the same. See that guy? He's Will Crockett. He's a talented photographer that photo equipment makers ask to help them when they develop new products. Sponsors? Over 45 brands think Will's educational content is some of the best there is. He's even worked on photo projects with the Pentagon. That's quite a resume, but you never hear him speak about it. That's the kind of guy he is. Some people think he's nuts because he says, DSLRs are dead ducks. Mirrorless cameras are going to replace everything and thank goodness. They're smaller, lighter, easier to learn, faster to shoot projects with, and they're a heck of a lot more fun. The XE2 also has a couple improvements since the XE1. We've got Wi-Fi. We've Start got off with your camera in play mode. Then tap the Wi-Fi button and you'll notice a new screen pops up on the back of your camera. That signals you to start the app on the device that you want to connect the camera to. In this case, it's an iPhone. Then launch the app on the iPhone, follow the connect instructions there. Works the same on an iPad as well. We've got a new phase detection autofocus system that works lots better and lots faster. And when you're going to be photographing people a lot like I do, I'm relying on the face detection autofocus to make sure that I get that perfect focus right on those faces. So I couldn't be any happier with the XE2. There's plenty more features and functions to show you, including wait to see the big prints out of this small camera. It's pretty crazy stuff. Set up for this shot, super simple. I've got a pretty gloomy day here in the French Quarter. Got my camera set up over this way on a tripod. That's just a medium sized Mi Photo tripod. The Fuji long zoom, the 55 to 200, is set wide open, which is at 4.6, I believe, at this setting. And I'm only about, oh, nine feet away from my subject. I've got a beautiful background there. And you can see, in order for me to be able to pull out my subject from the background, I'm using a little bit of an LED light as a little bit of a rim light a hair light. That's going to allow me to shoot still photos with that nice little rim right here and it allows me to shoot video. We get that beautiful Fuji look in photo and in video anytime we want to. The drive button right here, that's going to allow us to change from photo to burst mode to panoramic mode to video mode. And those beautiful film simulation settings are available in the video mode too. So if I want to shoot Velvia look for photo, great. And then I want to shoot that same image video, but with black and white, no problem. Film simulation modes get that great look with very little, maybe no post-processing.